Okay, so this is my finished uh, VHS lathe. It's made of a bit of wooden decking and some 18mm plywood. Um, you probably see the the they are dovetail sliders um, for a tailstock to slide along, um, like so, and it doesn't pop out the top. There's a bit of give, but not enough to have it, make it a defect. Um, I've got the motor mounted on permanently with a bit of 18mm plywood again uh, screwed into the base. I've got this uh, stuff with holes in, like my Bendy Meccano with holes in to screw and mount the motor and uh, these VHS machine things. Uh, I've made a chuck, um, which is this four bolts and a bit of round plywood. I tap the holes. That goes on the end with the two bolts, and at the moment I have to push this up against it because it's uh, not mounted correctly. And oh, I'll make these bolts in the brass bit longer so I can bolt this chuck to it. I'll probably make this chuck again out of some oak or something harder. Um, I chop down this bit so I can now fit something this big on uh, my lathe, it didn't work out very well um, this is locked down by this screw just going down into the base uh, the base and the sides will wax so it uh, runs nice and smoothly as well uh, you can make some stuff like this at the moment um, small bud vase and a candle holder that's just got a hole in it from a forcing bit this is a forcing bit if no one knew uh, it draws a flat bottom on holes. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I've got a variable voltage power supply to power it all. It runs at about 9, 10 volts um, and about 1.5 amps and it works really well. And it means I can have a variable voltage lathe as well. So, um, yeah, that's my VHS lathe. Uh, thanks for watching.